high. Let's say that we have to draw the drawing that we see in front of us. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and check the sizes. Okay. And here you can see on this sketch the sizes are in millimeters. So what you can do if you want to draw this drawing with me, you can just take a screenshot and then we're gonna be doing it together. Right. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on new V. Okay. We go metric, standard millimeter, and we go create. Please, if it's your first time to catch us, don't forget to subscribe so it can be part of our team. And the next thing is, don't forget to press the bell button so you can be notified every time. So this one here needs to be 100 millimeter. Okay. After subscribing and pressing the bell button, what you can do next is to join our membership team. And then you're going to be our sponsor, our partner. That's going to be great, right? So then I need to have the circles though so that is my first that is my second and this is my third and i need to make sure that this one here is at the middle so that needs to be 50. Okay. that needs to be 50. and i need to have these other circles so i'm having one and two again third one right cool then the next thing that I want, I want this one here to be given a size or dimension. So that's one they need to be 60. And this one here need to be 40. And the third one need to be uh, 30. And that need to be 16. Is it 16? Sorry, 15. Great. Okay. Then I need to make sure that from the uh, to the that need to be 42 that need to be 42 and from the up to the that one need to be 145 that need to be 145 and i need to have another circle so there is my other circle and that circle here need to be 30 that need to be 30 great and i need to have this line here from the up to the and this one here from the up to there and now you can see this is the constraint part so i'm taking the tangent to one so i want this one to be tangent to that one great and i want this one to be tangent to that one right so then i want this angle from the up to the to be 30 as per our sketch so three zero that's what the sketch says right and now from the up to the that needs to be one three five cool that is wonderful done and now from the up to the that need to be 15 one five the same apply here from the up to the that need to be one five again here to the one five and the to here one five okay the next thing is that is for equality so this one which which one was it? so this one need to be equal to that one 15 this one here need to be equal to that one 15 great i go escape and now this one here need to be 100 mi sorry 50 millimeter yes 50 millimeter far from that line so 50 millimeter far from that line now it's back then i want to have this part here okay so there is my part there this part is the one that you see here come on is this part that you see there so i need to have that part there so here is the part and that one as per our drawing this one here need to be 30 okay that need to be 30 and which means from the up to the need to be half of 30 15 great and now from the up to the that need to be 45 that need to be 4 5 great okay so now that i have the frame of my drawing i need to remove everything that i don't want or i don't need so i don't need this part i can delete it okay and i go trim i trim this part i trim this part as well and inside here I don't need that part here. Eh? I don't need this part either. I don't need this one. 
I don't need that one. Either this one. You miss you need to be removed. And that as well. That part needs to be removed. Okay. So now that you are sure about your drawing now, I don't need that part either. So now that you are sure about your drawing, you can either say finish sketch if you want, but if you are just stubborn, you can just go 3D model and say extrude. Okay. So in here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to give dimension to the spot here. So this one needs to go up by 12 millimeter. That needs to be go up by gone up by 12 millimeter. And then if you want to see the part that you just drew, you go there, you say vis you say you right click and then say visibility on. Once the visibility is on, what you can do is you go on extrude now. <coughs> yeah, it's clearing my throat up. So that's one day need to go up by 80 millimeter okay 80 millimeter great and this part inside it that part inside it need to go up by what 80 minus 16 64 then okay and uh, the interest could be spot here so this part here need to be extracted by what let's see we need this part here okay so this part here need to be extracted by 57 so 5 Seven. Okay. So once that part is done, now you need come on. You need this hole that you see here. That hole over there. So you come here. You say new sketch. Okay. New sketch. And then you draw the circle. There is my circle. And now the circle here needs to be what? 16 millimeter okay and from there up to there that one day need to be 42 that was close 42 so once that one is done what you're gonna do is you go and extrude again on 3d model you go extrude again so you need to cut this hole here so you need to cut it inside let's see mm -hmm. that is fine 57 is fine that is for cutting and that's us for joining go giving size so there we go so now we can see that i have too much too many sizes here written all over so what you can do you go there and you say visibility removed you know you untick that visibility part and then you come here look i need to have this corner this corner killed this one and that one the one over there mm -hmm. you see so what i'm gonna do is i come here check here I uh, select this part, okay. Then I press Ctrl. I select this other part. I press Fillet, and this one here need to be killed by 15 millimeters, right? 15 millimeter. So that is great, okay. That is great. So now I need to kill this side as well. So this one here, this part, and that part needs to be killed by what? 15 millimeter again. You see, I'm having around the part there. That is what I needed all, which I wanted. So then, what I need now, I need to have this part here. So that part, as well as this one. Ah, let me go this way. Okay, so I can control my stuff. Come on, that one, control everywhere. And then, what I'm gonna do is, I say, by as per our sketch by four millimeters great all right so now you can see how your drawing looks like yeah you can see everything is done so if you want now you can give it a material so i'm gonna go for acetorizin okay what is acetorizin so today i'm not going for i'm not going for for for, for gold acetorizin black but then i can give it you know something different where is blue here blue medium nah that's not good blue dark sky blue dark yes this is great okay so you see how your drawing looks like okay so it was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you i hope that you guys enjoyed that i hope that you're gonna enjoy it for now i'm gonna ask you to take care of yourself and see you on the next video so please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to join as well and please Touch the bell button. Bye. See you next time. Eh?